Someone is given a cancer diagnosis. It not only affects the patient, but family, friends, and healthcare workers. Tonight, all three came together to have one big conversation at the Survivorship Summit. Eyewitness News' Leanne Stuck was there and has our story. The word cancer brings with it fear, emotion, and so many questions. The National Cancer Institute predicts 1.7 million new cases of cancer will be diagnosed this year, which is why the Survivorship Summit for the Indiana Cancer Consortium is encouraging open dialogue. We're warning healthcare professionals, patients and families to be able to realize, talk, please talk. Say and ask the hard questions and let them know, time out, I'm not ready to leave yet, I've got a few more questions. Throughout the summit, held at USI, organizers were caped in color. We are not superheroes at all, but we represent those that do because each of these capes are a different color and they represent a different cancer. People like Kelly Rohde and Eyewitness News' Shelly Kirk reflecting on finding out their diagnosis. In 2013, I was diagnosed with um, small cell ovarian cancer. I was stage 3C. And my dear co-workers, um, Brad Bird and uh, my news director, literally picked me up off the floor and I started this journey. Brody says doctors gave her six months to live. I am um, four and a half years cancer free and I couldn't have been happier. So. Using her story to inspire others. So I'm here today to prove to people that having a bad diagnosis isn't a death sentence. You're still alive, you're still living, you're still doing things. Chef Ryan Callahan was all about the food. He created the cookbook, Cooking for Chemo. It was sharing tips to making food taste better. It was during this time as a caregiver that I learned to develop these different techniques, uh, these different cooking techniques and seasoning techniques to understand what the side effects were and what was causing it. Little tips and conversations that go a long way to changing someone's life. A lot of people think that cancer defines who you are. It does not define who you are. And now this is the second annual summit, and this one was all about communication, finding different avenues for everyone to communicate.